Hungrybox, bringing him out 2-0. Hungrybox is out of the tournament just in time to get to his commentary slot. Yep. Uh, um, we have Anti versus Zenyu. Kind of a interesting history between those two back then being former Mario mains. Uh, and now we're coming out to this game to fight that. Hopefully somebody puts that on the phone and streams it and shares it on Twitter here. But let's go right into the match here. It is going to be Nitro versus Elegant here. Best of threes before the pop eights. Yeah, has Nitro been going full Joker now or does he still have the Richter? Yeah, so he still has a Richter. He rarely pulls it out from what Sizzler has told me. Uh, but Nitro still pretty hard committed to the Joker. Okay. And it's really, really hard for Nitro because he's more of a zoner place player. And so it's hard for him to play the rush down game. But he's starting to get things right. We kind of saw him play a little bit differently here up against Anti as you saw in this game. So he's trying to get it down. And this is perfect for Nitro to start using that zoner based mentality, right? You don't want to stick too close to the region green. Yeah, uh, definitely just already seeing from the gameplay, some people will rush down as Joker immediately, but you see that he's the type of Joker that used to use the uh, take aim, not only for disadvantage, but just in approaching and keeping people away in neutral, just like that. Oh, no tech, that forces him to have to go back to the up people. Elegant gets grabs the ledge here just before Nitro can. This is a scary spot here. Not a good spot to be in, forward throw, gonna take him off one more time. I love that fake up because he gets the jab one-two on the shield. Then goes for the roll to roll pivot grab. That kind of mixes up Nitro to think he's feel, he feels free to stay safe. Oh, what a miscommunication here against Nitro. He's telling him, I'm only down to the cover for my Cyclone. Another Cyclone. Still not enough to do it, actually. That man's DI is sent from the gods. Yeah, he's got to be careful. He's going to find the corner every time, but can he find... Nope, man. <laughs> no way he's going to come back from that one. Even though, even though Cyclone isn't as strong as it used to be, we were getting nerfed a couple patches ago, it's still really hard to challenge. Alright, so Elegant with a slight advantage here. Oh, that's not good. Interesting down smash. Don't know what happened there. Maybe he buffered a down air too early or something and it came out as down smash. I'm not sure. Up throw. Nice. Goes on the platform. Kind of sets out Elegant, but that was a good miscommunication here. Elegant was more ready for the up air than he was for the up smash. Elegant just taking his time, figuring out how he can go in. Sends out the plunger. Yeah, that's pretty much ga his game plan. Just throwing out plunger and then hoping that he elicits a reaction out of him. Goes for like a back air or a forward air. Nitro's got a little bit of control there. Oh, that was very nice. Forced out a buffer and air dodge. Thought that he was going to have the tech or something. And so he was just able to get take aim bullets downward, interrupt the recovery, and then come back around, get the stock. Nitro pretty relentless here at the ledge. He knows I don't want to let Elegant come back on the stage. I am going to keep going for this take game off the stage. Giving him a hard time. What a great counsel into the back air. Nice. Hobbs over Elegant using the take game. Down throw. Elegant looking for a cycle and Nitro nearly gets away. I do like the fact that Nitro, like they said earlier, right? He's playing a really good respect against Elegant because he knows if I stay in that range, Elegant will catch me slipping up eventually and I will definitely get a big punish. Try to close out the stock there. Able to do it with the back air. Oh, this is not good. Oh, Gonna be able to jump out, but he's got another re-grab. Another opportunity for a big grab combo. Even though he wasn't able to finish it off there, look at the percent that Nitro now has into himself. Being stuck at the ledge. Elegant, even though he's not able to close up the stock as he would like to, he's got Nitro a little bit on the back foot. Here's the cake on, trying to close some space. Yep. All right. Arsene available. Going about, about halfway now. Let's see if he can get something going. Approaching with these bullets here. Not quite. Jumping all over the place and Elegant just says, okay, you're gonna land here. I'll get a force match right in your way. Down throw. He's gonna watch out for himself in here. Ooh, I like that runoff drag down up air and then continue on to the combo. Not able to get the grappling hook extension, but still, decent amount of damage. He's just gotta get off of the ledge somehow. Mm, he nearly avoids the grab. Elegant's one grab away to keep this Joker away. But I'm trying to put a point on the board already. The parry, but a call out from Elegant. Senses out the jump and goes for the forward air. All right, let's see. Does Cyclone. No, yeah, still that, living on the great DI. Man, that thing keeps makes you think that it's gonna kill, but it actually gonna, it's gonna looks like it's gonna take a while. Yeah, it's finding the corner every time. Yeah. Let's try it one more time. Third time to try, maybe. Oh, and then nearly off the downer. Elegant was so relentless here against Ra um, against Nitro. Nitro was stuck at the ledge there for the majority of the game so far. Mm -hmm. Elegant didn't know what happens when you give Joker the ability and the space to breathe to give him the ability to whiff punish. 
Also, shout out to the Super Soul Bros. If you guys are wanting the music playing in the background, that is actually the Super Soul Bros. They've played uh, several concerts before. Uh, they're a dedicated team to making great music and recompositions of some of your favorite songs involving the Super Smash Bros. series. And right now, they're playing the, uh, I think it's Offset Island from The Legend of Zelda. Oh, wow. So, definitely check them out, Super Soul Bros. I think they're on Twitter, they're also here live. Alrighty. Still looking with the Joker, it looks like. He was doing well. I think he just needed to pick his battles a little bit more wisely, in my opinion. Now, I would definitely say that the flesh battle for Nitro is not the best. Okay, downward bullets. Getting a lot of damage out of it. It wasn't able to cancel into the right direction, but still got a decent amount of damage. There into the forward tilt and continuing on. Finally, Elegant's able to interrupt that, but still with the uh, Yeha uh, poison damage. It's actually a lot more than it looks. Yeah. Look at that already, 80%. The initial hit is very small, like about roughly 2 to 3%, but the damage it did over, over time could amount to, I think, about 21%. And Aegon being 6%, doing 36% damage over time. I think it's 24. Just look at the drag down here, but he does have such a solid lead on Elegant. But speaking of leads, Elegant never likes to let them have a little bit too, too close. Nitro with our set in hand. Can he finish off the stop before Elegant comes back on the stage? Yeah, looks like he read the directional air dodge back to the stage, but the forward air just didn't quite do what he would have wanted to. Just had, didn't have the timing right on the ring. That was smart from Elegant. I'm so sorry. He used the fireball to trade with the back air from Arsene to come back on the stage? That's safe passing for him, and that was really, really good. All right, Arsene's gone. I mean, not without Elegant getting kind of bruised in the process here. 160. But as these two can kill at this percent, so it's going to be a matter who takes the first oh, stock, no. and that's going to be Elegant actually taking out Nitro's first stock here. It looks like Nitro was still behind from the last time. Gonna go for, uh, yeah, taking downwards, but he pops Elegant right back up, and he's still able to recover the upbeat. Neutral get up with the back air. Really good punish. Elegant usually likes to go for neutral. Uh, neutral get up. Nice parry all around. Yeah, this is the type of just play style that Nitro likes to do. Is like zoning out and then occasionally going in on the aggressive once you figured out a defensive option that your opponent has. Now he's got himself good positioning. Oh, but he's gonna lose it immediately to the Cyclone. Woo! Oh. That was a nice reversal there. Arsene came out, then he landed with Nair up air and then finished it off with the up B off the top. Miss the forward tilt. We're gonna space himself out a little bit more here. Elegant with the tech chase so close to him, he doesn't be unable to find it. Oh, I thought it was gonna go for the forward air, the down air. He was so close to it. This is the problem that Nitro has here, being at the ledge against Elegant. Elegant just takes things over to his side and he forces Nitro into disadvantage afterwards. If I were Nitro, I'd start looking to play center stage. Oh, he tried to go for a backhand, but he goes up from the deep end and he's unable to recover. Elegant takes it with a 20 and a fist bump. I I respect what Nitro tried to do there, like keep him off guard and then maybe get you like a stage bike or something. Mm -hmm. Just a little mis-executed, but great ideas coming from Nitro. Elegant, just the punish game was a little bit too much. Points at the camera. <laughs> yeah, probably probably to Lauren in the I'm chat. I'm coming for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> 